from Montreal. It's a little more wintry than my usual offerings. <laughs> it's March, it's snowing, it's quite cold. Um, but I'm today, my first day in Montreal, I'm a little jet lagged. Waiting for the snow plow. I thought I'd start with a little walk around Old Montreal. So where I'm actually starting is Place d'Armes. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right and I'll start with a caveat that probably everything in this video I will not pronounce right. So I apologise already. Um, but it's basically um, a great place to start because one of the biggest sites in the city is behind me. This is the Basilica of Notre Dame. Um, they're doing a little bit of work, I heard that earlier. Uh, I'm going to try and get in there, but it doesn't open till 10 and it's about quarter past nine. So if I don't get in there today, I'll go in another day or I might go in just to get warm. Um, the next thing behind me, I think that's the New York Life building. That was the first ever skyscraper in Montreal. And next to it, if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe this was the first bank. Um, or this lovely building behind me here could be. I'll check that out. Um, but a beautiful square. I really like the city so far. Um, everyone's been really friendly. We're staying in a lovely place literally just down the road. Um, and yeah, uh, looking forward to a few days in Montreal. Um, I have to get rid used to the cold because in a couple of days I'm going to be staying for the night in an ice hotel in Quebec, which I'm super excited about. Um, but for now, let's have a look around Montreal. So, the Place des Armes is um, named because it's, see, it's said to be the place where um, the fighting took place between the, um, the original um, indigenous people and the, um, the religious settlers. And this in the middle is a monument to one of the city's founders, Paul de Chamaray. It's the Maisonneuve. Maisonneuve monument. inside to warm up a bit. Um, I can confirm that this here is the first bank of Montreal. It was uh, built in 1817 um, and even if you don't need to warm up, the glory coming around the corner, I suggest you go inside because it's stunning. Um, can't, I couldn't film right down by the tellers because it is still an active bank but um, it's a beautiful building just to pop into and uh, warm your fingers up. Behind me is Notre Dame, it's still not open but I am going to move on and I'm going to come back here later to have a look inside. It was built in 1829 and inside there's some amazing stained glass apparently, um, a very famous organ um, and uh, the biggest bell in North America called the Gros Bourdon I think. Um, so yeah we'll come in and have a proper look around um, Notre Dame later, but for now, I'm going to walk along the, check my notes, Rue Saint-Jacques, um, which is the equivalent, or used to be, of Canada's Wall Street. Here, which is the Royal Bank Tower. 
Tower. When it was built in 1928, it was the tallest building in Montreal. Um, but it's well worth going inside. The interior is absolutely stunning, as I hope you saw. Um, and there's a cafe in there. It's called the Crew Cafe. Um, it's open till four. Um, and even if you don't want anything else, I would go in there for a coffee, which I'm certainly going to do at some point, um, if not a meal. I'm a little bit warmer having been in there. Um, and the interior, it's an old bank, so they still have a lot of the fix fixtures and fittings from the banking days, which make it even more stunning. So here we are in Place de Uville, um, which they say is one of the prettiest squares in Montreal. Um, it marks the place where the first European settlers came um, in 1642 um, and that is commemorated with this obelisk and then this interesting looking building next to it over there you can see that I'm going to read it because I'll never remember the name of it um, and apologies already about my pronunciation that is the point what a Calière Cité de Archéologie et d'Histoire de Montreal. Um, and it's basically one of the best museums in Montreal, all about the foundings. You can get a good view of the um, port from up the top and apparently going to the crypt to see some of the foundations of the city. So um, I think I might take a little bit of a jaunt in there. So I've just come out of the museum and it was really good. I would say 100% if you come into Montreal, um, then go in there. It's really cleverly done. There's um, The best place to start is there's a multimedia presentation. Lasts for about 17 minutes. Gives you a little bit of um, history of the city. And I would say, even if you're not particularly interested in Montreal, it's a fascinating look at the um, evolution of a city as we know them today. Um, from the first settlers, the indigenous people, um, through to when the French arrived and then when the English arrived. It's a really, really good and interesting um, viewpoint of the building up of a city. So definitely go in there. Um, and what I really liked about it is for someone with a short attention span for museums, um, it's really interactive and also for kids it's really good. But most of the time you spend kind of like underneath this building in the foundations where it's got all the old walls. And my favorite bit was a walk through the old sewer. Um, they've smartened it up a little bit. Uh, to um, Fort Ville Marie. Um, where it's really disconcerting because you walk on a glass floor um, over what remains of the old original fort. So really, really interesting. Definitely, um, whether, you're, whether you love museums or you're not that keen on museums, it's $26 um, for an adult to go and have a look. And um, don't miss that when you're in Montreal. And then behind me is another important building literally just across from the uh, from the museum this is old customs house which was built on the original marketplace um, which helped Montreal to be a real trading um, center doesn't look like there's a lot going on there today um, but it's a lovely building So it's now um, well after 10 o'clock, so the Basilica of Notre Dame should be open. So I'm going to pop back in there um, to have a look. So things are a little out of sync, um, but I'll put this in the right place. Uh, yeah, we'll go have a look inside the cathedral.
the inside of the Basilica of Notre Dame. Certainly worth going in. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, the big organ, um, the altar, and um, stunning kind of spiral staircase as well halfway through. Absolutely beautiful. Plus $15 um, to go in and have a look around. And you can take photos um, and videos as well, I checked. So if you're enjoying this video so far, um, and if you would like to see more and encourage me to get out more into the cold weather <laughs> please give me a thumbs up or press the red button to subscribe or the bell to get a notification every friday when i post a new travel video on see where why what thank you so much for joining me more to come next we're going to walk along vieux port um, which is the old port area so i'm in vieux port um, I think this is water down here <laughs> and then there's a big wheel that you can you can take a ride on as I understand it viewport is a great place to come it looks it looks a lot of fun you can go ice skating here on the big wheel there's lots of activities and attractions it's all based around four of the different keys um, I think it's about two and a half kilometers along the river so this is the river. <laughs> um, it actually looked really magical here um, last night when I came in um, in the taxi. Everything was all lit up. So if you're lucky, um, I might pop down a little bit later and see how it looks at night. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a walk up here to see one of the most beautiful churches. Um, some say even more beautiful than the Basilica of Notre Dame inside, and that's the Sailors Church. I'd be very surprised if this isn't what I'm looking for. I'm hoping it's the Chapelle de Notre Dame de Bon Secours or Chapelle Notre Dame de Bon Secours. It's basically a, um, a chapel which was built specifically for the sailors after they've made the, the long trip over from France, England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, everywhere they came from. So it's supposed to be absolutely spectacular inside. So um, let's go in and investigate. An impressive building behind me, Marche Ball School. Um, I've just been inside because I was intrigued. It um, apparently was once originally a regional market and then very briefly the um, centre of the Parliament of the United Canada's. Um, it's quite a landmark in the in the old, old Montreal. It's now snowing quite heavily. My last port of call is going to be um, Place Jacques Cartier. Uh, which is apparently um, kind of a lively area full of bars, restaurants. I'm not quite sure how lively it's going to be today. <laughs> but I'll pop down there, have a look anyway. Uh, battery's nearly running out. Um, it's my last stop of this, this session today anyway. It's snowing quite heavily now. Um, so yeah, let's go have an investigate. So behind me here we have the Hotel de Ville, Town Hall. Um, which is like true to form for any trip I do. It's currently undergoing renovations. So behind me just here is a monument to 
to um, Lord Nelson, uh, which sits at the top of Place de Jacques Cartier. So we're going to take a walk around. I think it's another of those places that actually would look quite magical at night. Um, so I may well pop over here a little bit later. But um, in the meantime, this is the final stop on my little tour of um, old Montreal. If you have enjoyed it, like I say, please give me a thumbs up or press the red button to subscribe or the bell to get a notification every Friday when I post a new travel video on Sue Where Why What. Thanks a lot for joining me. I think I'm going to go and get a warm drink.